Um, drenching, um, if you don't know what that is, it's using a chemical to kill worms. The biggest thing is you don't want to use it unless you have to because they're not cheap and if you use it when you don't have to, you may as well drench them by squirting it on the ground effectively. And particularly if you're using a drench that isn't suited to that worm in your area. So it different drenches are better on different worms depending on, um, depending on your resistance on your property. So we've done a study in, um, in the Central West and we've found, um, over, I think, over 90% of properties have cydectin or mo sorry, moxidectin resistance um, in, in Barber's Pole. So, um, yeah, heaps more information on that. Definitely give us a call if you're thinking of drenching. And um, you're best off doing a worm faecal egg count. Um, to see what your level of worm burden is before you go and buy a drench, okay? Because you can spend thousands of dollars on drench and you didn't need to because they didn't have worms in the first place. Okay, I think that's probably, and I, if we keep drenching when we don't need to, we're gonna have massive, re well, we've already got resistance problems. I mean, things being resistant to four different drench groups, worms resistant to four different drench groups, that's a big problem, um, so we need to use our drench sparingly and use it when we really need to, not because their ram's about to go out, not because they're weaners and I just do it every year because they're weaners. I, yeah, I, I get pretty serious about it because you don't want your grandkids in 50 years to have no drenches available to them. So it's really important that we use our drenches more sparingly.